Today, son, I teach you to catch many food beasts. Bring great honor to our tribe. Patience, Wolfie, patience. Embrace the music with love, son, with feeling. That's right, son. Study very hard and you may be the father of more than just your children someday. Morning, Dad. We're off to get an education in the hopes of one day making a meaningful contribution to society. And though we have no reason to expect anything inspirational, we're semi-open to whatever fatherly advice you'd like to foist upon us. Fill it up, unleaded. You'll have to excuse your father. He's been like that since 10 o'clock last night. The cable company accidentally unscrambled a bouncing naked flesh channel for three seconds, and he's afraid to blink in case it happens again. Check, please. Off to school, boys. There'll be time enough later to watch him degenerate into a desperate and pathetic middle-aged man. Good luck, Dad! Follow that dream. <laughs> the economy, of course, being a primary concern. Personally, I don't mind him spending the night on the sofa. It saves me from having to hose down his rubber sheets. <laughs> yeah. Well, this looks like as good a time as any to go through his mail. Uh, junk, junk, junk summons, junk, junk, junk summons. That man! Did you see this letter? Incredible! They're sending the home electrolysis kit I ordered for you? No, you slobbering imbecile. It's from the Littlefield School for Gifted Boys. Uh-huh. It's a private educational institution upstate, and listen to this. They want Ajax! Look, I told those quacks over and over. If they want to hook electrodes up to my kid's head, the figure they mentioned wasn't even in the ballpark. Not for experimentation. It's a boarding school. They want him to be a student. <laughs> 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 gifted boy! Gifted! Where's he gonna get the gift? <laughs> Wait a minute. What if it isn't a mistake? What if they really do want him? Maybe he is a gifted student with promise and potential we don't even know about! Hey, someone. The escalator stopped. I'm stuck. Somebody? Well, it doesn't mean the right education couldn't change him. Bernice, the boy is 15 years old. He still hasn't mastered the four-slice toaster. Besides, I can't believe you're even thinking about sending Ajax away to a boarding school. He's my son. I love him. He's the only one around here I could talk to. No way that boy leaves this house. It's a scholarship. It'd be free. If anyone needs me, I'll be turning his room into a pool hall slash babatorium. Not really. It's just a long way to go for a cheap joke. Just think about it, okay? I've got to take Ajax's lunch again. He forgets that yesterday's is gone now. Wait a minute. I'll do it. You? Yeah, me. I'm his father. What do you think I am? Completely disconnected from my son's life? Where does he uh, go to school again? Ah, the hallowed halls. Good, they finally got a metal detector. That'll keep out the riffraff. Wait a minute, it's just a lunchbox. Nothing is just a lunchbox. <laughs> the horror. The horror. Ah, uh, excuse me, I'm looking for my son, Ajax. You don't have a whole pass here, do you? <laughs> It's okay, I'm her geometry teacher. <laughs> hey, I ain't in it for the salary. Sorry, mate, garbage from the cafeteria tends to pile up a bit, eh? Oh, watch yourself, it's the gangs. Daddy-o, let's save our strength for the sharks. Let's go put on a show, Alfalfa. <laughs> Dodd, what brings you here? Twinkie. Thanks, Dodd. Beatrice? 
No, I'm the one who had the sound judgment not to marry you. Bernice, I was attacked, beaten, left for dead. I warned you not to join a record and tape club. No, at Ajax's school. Where's Ajax? He's in his room watching PBS. Mm. Today's sponsored by the letter H. Thank God he's okay. That school is a hellhole. I just don't understand. It used to be such a fine school. What could have caused such a decline? No, no, taxes! No, no, taxes! <laughs> Who knows? The important thing is that my son can't go to school in that sewer. I hate to admit it, but I think you were right. I think he would be better off at that private school. Could I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Hey, Jax, we're sending you to boarding school. What if I just had peanut butter? It's a wonderful opportunity, Ajax. What's? Well, not that we want you to leave, son. It's just that we want what's best for you. Do you understand? I tell you what, you wouldn't have to leave till Monday. What do you say you and me have the weekend of our lives, just the two of us, doing anything you want to do? Okay, Dot. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one-boy, cuddly toy, my own. Good night, Charles. Good night, uh, Charles's brother. Good night. Good night, Bert. <laughs> Yuck! It'll be a long time before I eat broccoli again. Good night, son. I'll miss you. A good education. That's the key to life, son. Getting back to the three R's. Reading, uh, running, and uh, the other thing. Duckman, stop! <laughs> what? What? Renee Stone, yell like that. I thought I was going to hit something. Uh... Unpack the car, will you, son? Sure, Dodd. Just look at this place. I'll bet in no time at all they're gonna double his IQ. Throw me the keys. Sending it soaring into the high teens. Ah, splendid, you've arrived. Welcome to Littlefield Ajax. We're most eager to have you in our family. I'm Professor Edwin Byer, headmaster of Littlefield. You must be Duckman, and this is your lovely wife? <laughs> Don't even kid about that. <laughs> oh, I'm Bernice, uh, his sister-in-law. Thank you so much for your oversight of graciousness in allowing Ajax to come to a school like this. Well, every year we select one student based on very strict criteria to come here on scholarship. So what clinched it, Professor? His raw potential, his hidden abilities, his good breeding stock? He scored lowest in perceptible brainwaves and qualified under Project Emergency Intelligence Relief. Congratulations, son. You came in first. Tied, actually. The other one was a Bien Harada Alamp Ohamita who lives in a grass and manure hut in Bangladesh. Ajax edged him out by having a less tolerable living situation. Tell me about it, Ed. She can be a real pain in the... So, shall we see your lovely campus? You can see the Olympic-sized pool there between the tennis courts and the polo field. To our left, the student cafeteria, where four-star chefs prepare low-fat, high-protein meals. Straight ahead, our NASA anti-gravity simulator. No kidding. And this is the student union, where you can relax, have a cappuccino, and to use youth's colorful vernacular, rap with your peers. Will they be grossed out if I occasionally scrape the fungus off my bill? <gasps> <laughs> Not at all. As you can see, we have the socially challenged section where you can perfect your interactive skills without judgment until you're ready to integrate with the others. Oops! I'm so sorry. Did I disturb you? Huh? <laughs> I'm Deanna. What's your name? Duckman! Duckman with a D! In fact, PhD! Loveology! Perhaps you'd care to stay after class while I grade on your curves? 
You're pathetic. You've got kidney stones older than her. You look new. Here's my phone number. Call me. We can go to Friday's Mixer together. Bye-bye. Be good, okay? Brush your teeth and promise you'll bathe at least once a week, even if the other kids laugh at you in the shower. I promise, Aunt Bernice. Son, Dodd. Wow. For a moment, we were just like one of those ideal families in those sappy situation comedies. <laughs> yeah, the kind where they learn something from each other every week, and then the music swells, and they hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, son. All right, let's go. These candies melt. I can't use them as slugs in the toll basket. <laughs> Diana's phone number. I don't think that's something you have to worry about just now. <laughs> Ajax, knock off that racket. Ajax isn't here, duck man. Oh, right. Humor him. This could be the snap the social workers warned us about. Okay. Gee, Dad, it must have been difficult sending your firstborn away from the only home he's ever known. <laughs> <laughs> you did your best. You know, it is pretty empty around here. What's in the box, Duck Man? Some of Ajax's stuff. I just wanted to be around it, you know. Wow, I remember that day. His souvenir program from Sorrow and the Pity on ice. His first reading primer, still wrapped in the original plastic. His third grade report cards from all four years. Look, his B.B. Rebozo autographed baseball. Oh, his first teething ring. And his most recent one. And here's his collection of animals that were run over on the freeway. Ah! Ah! Oh, he loved these. His Silence of the Lambs action figures. Remember how he used to play. Oh, the lambs, silent Clarice. Go eat a leg, Lecter. <laughs> but who are we kidding? We're miserable without him. Even Grandma Mom misses him. I wonder what our little Ajax is doing right now. Ah, Luli Taraxicum officinale. How abundant are your spores? Ah! What's happening to me? It smells like decomposing animals that were run over on a freeway in here. Duckman, while the crying, did that lady wrestler finally slap you with a harassment suit? We miss Ajax! Norman Rockwell, on acid. Duckman, you left this letter from Ajax in the office. He writes every day. Sounds like he's having a good time. That's what it sounds like, but look at what the first letter of every word spells. So what? It's gibberish. Seemingly but viewed through a prism and reversed in a mirror. It clearly reads, Help, I'm being held prisoner here and being made to write letters dictated by Headmaster Byer. Save me. Love, Ajax. Sometimes after an electrical storm, I see in five dimensions. Why are the 60 of you looking at me like that? You hear that? Ajax needs our help! I'm coming, Ajax! Daddy's coming to get you, son! Just hold on! Nothing's gonna stop me from rescuing you from your living hell! Ooh, Mr. Slurpee. Come on, baby! Free game! Uh, Duckman. Yeah? Oh, right. Let's go. Ajax! Where are you, son? We're here to save you! Very touching. <gasps> you! Fire beware! <laughs> Don't take it personally. I do this to all my prey. Allow me to introduce myself. King Chicken! You remembered. How sweet. That 
that's right. There is no Littlefield School. It's all just a facade, a sham, even these buildings. And I thought my apartment walls were flimsy. The students, professors, all animatrons, robots. Even Deanna, that lovely co-ed? Nope. I've never been able to make breasts. She's a Muppet. Oh, to be Frank Oz for a day. What's this all about? Revenge. <sighs> I'm getting back at Duckman by educating his son. No easy task, to be sure. But I'm doing it through renewed focus on the empowerment of learning and a return to traditional discipline. My God, you're sick. You're employing objective standards instead of the coddling of the individual? Why, yes! With attention to fundamentals, drill work, repetition? Oh, yes, yes. Making the slow students catch up rather than slowing down the fast students? Don't stop! And, and corporal, corporal punishment! punishment. Oh, the slap of a cat of nine tails on young skin. The heft of a new blackjack in your hand. Three pound or 5.2? Oh, three pound is for wimps! Oh, my, you are an enchanting creature. Just someone who cares. Uh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Creepy? Can we get back to the subject of Ajax? Where is he? Is he okay? Easily answered. You get the bouncing naked flesh channel on that? That's a trick question, Professor. No one element has the highest valence. Rather, osmium and ruthenium share that distinction. No! What's wrong, duck breath? Didn't want your son to be a brainiac? Of course I didn't. If he's too smart... You won't be able to talk to him. <clears throat> That's my plan. To alienate the only one in your family you can relate to. How? How did you... It's my business to know. Ah, uh, people tell me you're so stupid they're surprised you don't walk on your knuckles. But I just want you to know, you're the only one in this family I can understand. You mean it? You know, you're probably my favorite Dodd. Only. Only what? Only dad. Only Dodd what? Ah, you can almost feel your brain cells dying, can't you? I demand that you let us go! Or what? Well, yeah. Uh, you know the one where you take a bag full of dog dew and set fire to it? Duckman, why is he doing this to you? I'll tell you why. We went to school together. I was always the smart one. And for that reason alone, I was ridiculed. <laughs> ostracized from the rest of the children. <laughs> and the leader of this intolerant mob was Duckman. Hey, what's a little laxative in your milk before your valedictory speech? Because of you, I was laughed at, isolated, and my life of bright promise was turned into a life of vicious crime. So I'm going to isolate you from your own son and let him see what it feels like to be ostracized because of his genius. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like the way he stays cheery. I have a plan. You, Kingy! I was so enjoying our talk about education, I was hoping we could plan some extracurricular activity. Has anyone ever told you what a big, strong broiler you are? And your feathers, they're baby soft just like a little. Pull it? Well, you better buy me dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> Your laughter's like music. And speaking of music, we can perform a whole symphony together, if you let me out. I used to play the trumpet. <laughs> Let's go get Ajax! In the literary device known as onomatopoeia, words resemble the sounds they describe, i.e. splosh, sizzle, crock, splot, shuffle, riffle, and this tiny ringing sound. Tinka? No, thank you. I went earlier. Don't worry, Ajax! I've come to save you! Dodd! Unfortunately, due to my newfound intelligence, I have nothing else to say to you. Exactly! It's too late to save you! Oh yeah? Give me a chicken and prepare to meet your colonel! Look out! Take that! I can't see! This will get the dust out! What a woman! <laughs> You're finished, King Chicken! Washed up! Don't be surprised if MTV Unplugged calls you! 
Who's mm. laughing now? <laughs> Curses! Hoiled again! You're safe now, son. Good thing you sent that secret message. What secret message? Oh, right. Like you're perfect. We're sorry, Ajax. We didn't know this whole place was a fake. The building, the headmaster, the students. Oh, that reminds me. Dodd, Aunt Bernice, this is my friend Jeffrey. If it's all right with you, he's going to be coming to our house for Thanksgiving weekend. Ajax! You're not lost to us! Having nothing to do with a lack of faith in our abilities, I had the foresight to call the police. Let's all go home. It's time to get you back to your old school where you don't have to be smart. They like you just the way you are. Thanks, Dodd. Mark my words, from now on, you're gonna receive the same third-rate violence plagued, woefully underfunded education that is every American child's right. Don't think you've seen the last of me yet, Duckman. <laughs> 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 <laughs>